Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to update to iOS 15 on your iPad. Now I strongly recommend you watch the entire video to ensure everything runs smoothly. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to help you out. Let's get started. All right, now before we begin, there are a few things you wanna make sure you have set up so this runs smoothly. The first one is make sure your iPad is connected to the internet. A fast, consistent Wi-Fi connection is best. Otherwise, it might run a little bit slow for you. Next, you wanna make sure you have a charging cable available to you so you can plug up your iPad. It does need to have at least 50% battery or more to run the installation without a charger. If it's not, plug it up to the charger for the entire installation process. Next, you wanna make sure you have enough space on your iPad to run the installation. So you're gonna open your settings and tap general, tap on the iPad storage. You'll be able to see all of the storage that's available on your iPad. If you don't have enough space, then you'll need to delete some applications or photos. And you can see on screen how large iPadOS 15 is. So free up that space, otherwise you can move on to the next step, which is basically backing up your iPad. It's extremely important to do this. This way, if anything goes wrong during the installation process, you have a backup to refer to. You can do this with iCloud, you can connect it to a computer. There's videos online on how to do this. You can even check my channel, I believe I have one from a few years back but it should be very similar. Just back up your information just to be safe, and then you can move on with the installation. All right, so the installation process is very simple. All we're gonna do is open our settings application. We're gonna tap general here, and we're gonna tap software update. Now it's gonna begin searching for the update. You can see that mine is up to date, but there's also upgrade to iPadOS 15. If I tap on that, it's going to open up like this and you can see that it's 2.9 gigabytes for this update. You may need a little bit more space than 2.9 as that's been the case with a lot of these updates. Once you've freed up the space and have it ready, tap download and install. It may prompt you to enter in your passcode so you can enter that in. These are the terms and conditions. We can agree to those and tap agree again. The update is now requested here. So we're just gonna let it update. You can use the iPad while it's doing this update. You can also read through what's going to be added in for this iPad OS 15 update. This is gonna take quite a bit of time. It took about an hour for the whole update and installation, I believe for my iPhone. So we're assuming the same thing, but again, your internet speeds and the device you have will play a role in how fast this updates and installs. All right, so now that the update is complete, you wanna make sure you have either 50% or more battery on your iPad. Otherwise, plug it to the charger before you tap install. If everything's good, let's tap install now. It's going to verify the update and go through the entire installation process. And this is what takes the longest time. You'll notice your iPad will power down. It'll power back up. You'll notice some status bars that'll appear. They'll disappear and they'll actually not complete before they restart another status bar. This is all normal, but at this time, just leave your iPad alone. Don't do anything with it. Just be patient and allow it to run the installation process. All right, so that didn't take very long at all on the iPad Pro. This is the newest iPad Pro. And uh, we'll just swipe up, we'll enter in our passcode, and you can see software update is complete. Your iPad has been updated to iPad OS 15. We'll tap continue here. We'll tap continue here. If you want to set up Apple Pay or we'll set it up in settings. So we just tap set up later. We're not going to share analytics. Tap get started. And now we've got our connection to our iPad with iPad OS 15. But now let's quickly just open up the settings application here, general, and then tap software update. And you can see iPad OS 15.0 is up to date. Now, if you do run into any issues, first things you need to make sure of is that you don't have a version of iOS that's a beta version. So if you already have iPadOS 15 beta installed, you may need to remove the profile. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but there is another option. If you run into a problem where it freezes in the middle of the update, you can do a soft reset. There's a video for that on the card up top. If you need to do that, it'll just reset everything, but that's why I strongly recommend you back everything up because if something does go wrong, that's your only way to get everything back. So now that you have iPad OS 15, you can play around with all the cool new features. I'll be featuring a lot of them on the channel and showing you how to use them so that you can get the most out of your iPad. 
I'll also be going through the iPhone 13 models and some of the new features built into them. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you do run into any issues though, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and click the bell notification box to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.